This is in no way my attempt to justify my comic book obsession. And this story, I really, really like. Artwork, the storytelling. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis, let's talk about Silver and Black. Sony's Spider-Man cinematic universe just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. A few weeks ago we talked about how Tom Hardy's Venom solo film will be released next year in October. And Sony has shelved the Sinister Six project, but there are rumors of a Mysterio film and a Kraven the Hunter film. And even more than that, Carnage is rumored to appear in the Venom solo film. And the rumors of the rumors say that the Venom solo film will be more of a maximum Carnage storyline. And that's where they sort of lose me. I applaud Sony for working with what they have to try to bring a Spider-Man shared universe together, even if it doesn't have Spider-Man in it right now. Unlike DC, Sony seems to be following in the steps of the MCU and taking previously unknown characters and trying to create a multi-billion dollar franchise. But like I've said before, Maximum Carnage is just not a great storyline. Carnage can be a great character. He's one of my favorite Marvel villains because he's not easily persuaded and he doesn't have any loved ones that he cares about. But the big news is that Sony is now working on a new project featuring Black Cat and Silver Sable titled Silver and Black. Now this seems to be news to a lot of people who probably should not have been in the dark about this. Tom Holland was told about Silver and Black during an MTV interview. Now as far as we know, Tom Holland is only contractually obligated to appear in a Spider-Man 2 and a Spider-Man 3 and various Marvel appearances. And if the shared Spider-Man universe thing ends up pulling together, Sony might want to renegotiate Tom Holland's contract in order to involve him in future projects, maybe. But even if your Spider-Man isn't in the film, and it's a film in the Spider-Man shared universe, you should probably tell your Spider-Man that this film is happening. The rumored plot synopsis for Silver in Black is that Silver Sable will be hunting down Black Cat in South America, and also Spider-Woman is involved, maybe? Now many of you know about Black Cat. She's the daughter of a world-renowned cat burglar. She becomes a cat burglar herself. She has cat-like reflexes and agility, and for a time she was able to manipulate the bad luck of her enemies. Now Silver Sable is the lesser known of the pair. She is a mercenary, she's an expert markswoman and gymnast, and she uses the latest technology. The way that I think that the South America storyline might go down is that Black Cat is stealing or has stolen a rare artifact, and Silver Sable has to track her down in order to get the artifact, a fight ensues, blah blah blah. And because of this whole shared Spider-Man universe thing, Sony might be throwing in other characters into this film in order to bring these lesser known characters to the big screen. Like maybe there's not going to be a Kraven the Hunter film, but that he's going to appear in Silver and Black, maybe. And technically Silver and Black will be taking place in the same universe as the Venom solo film, but not really connected. My worry is that if their eyes are bigger than their stomachs, Sony might end up doing that whole too many superheroes slash villains in one one film thing again. But fans are going to need to want to see these characters more in the future in order for this Spider-Man connected universe thing to even work out. I get what Sony is trying to do. Female-led superhero slash villain films, awesome. Especially riding on the coattails of the recent huge success of Wonder Woman. Makes sense. However, and this is a big however, if Sony really wants to push the female-led superhero slash villain film, why not do Gotham City Sirens? Let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for a Silver Sable Black Cat film? Would you go see a Kraven the Hunter movie without Spider-Man in it? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that's it for this episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis. Thank you for fueling my comic book obsession, and you will see me tomorrow.